Hello students. My name is Hitesh Moghe and I'm head of maths department in Vidyalankar classes and publications. So this video is basically for all uh, engineering experts, JE main, JE advanced. As you all know, in 2025, the first exam which you will be appearing for will be JE main somewhere around, you can say 20th of January. So how to score 99 percentile and above in that exam? J main January attempt, the countdown begins. We have roughly around 100 days in hand. So what should be the strategy for these 100 days? How to, how to you know, finish the syllabus, how to solve mock test and etc. But before that, get an idea of what kind of score you uh, want to get a percentile 99 and above or 97 and above, right? You should know key what kind of score you should be getting to get into top uh, engineering colleges. So see, January may, just like you told me, roughly 10 to 12 uh, slots are there. And in every slot, mein, roughly 1.5 to 2 lakh students sit there. Around 10 lakh students appear for this exam. Uh, the 100 percentile score means like you are in top 10 students, top 20 students. Okay. So for that kind of rank, your uh, tentative score should be somewhere around 295 to 300. That means you can't make any mistake. You have to score almost like 74 questions correct out of 75. But even if you get something above 99, that's also a decent score. That's also a decent rank because almost like a majority of the op options will be open for you in top NITs if you score something above 99 percent. For that, the score is comparatively much less. It is 195 to 200, which is around 66 percent, uh, which is easily manageable if you utilize the next uh, 100 days. Or 98 percentile ke liye around 165, 170 cutoff tha last year. Around nine, last year thoda easy bhi tha paper, otherwise cutoffs are even lower than this. So uh, these are the cutoffs of 2024. 95 percentile and above, if you want, you need to score something about 125 or 130 plus. And 95 percentile may aapko kafi kuch decent options mil jaate. 90 percentile, which is the eligibility criteria for JE advanced, if you want to clear. Uh, J E main and if you want to appear for J E advance, you need to score 90 percent uh, percentile at least in general category. So for that, the cutoff is roughly around 100 to 105 marks, which is 33 percent of the J E main exam. Okay, now having said that, how to study? Now, here I have divided students into two categories. divide kiya hai. J E aspirants who have finished the syllabus, jinka syllabus ho gaya hai October mein, they have three months in hand to do the revision and all. And the second type of students would be JE aspirants who have not yet completed the syllabus or yet to complete the syllabus, maybe by mid November or November and uh, the syllabus ka kam hoga. So how they can utilize these next 100 days. Okay. So let's first talk about the students who have already done with the syllabus. Uh, obviously you must have finished the syllabus, but abhi bhi kuch backlog hoga. Kuch topics honge jiska sufficient practice nahi hua hai, kuch honge jo abhi abhi just khatam hua hai, right? So backlog ke liye, I would like to give you another 25 to 30 days by October and you try to finish your backlog. Okay. Let's say three, four topics in maths, four or five topics in chemistry, four or five topics in physics, whatever these 10 to 12 topics are, which you haven't done that well. Okay. Try to finish it by October and or latest by 10th of November. Once you're done with those backlog topics, you categorize the topics in ABC category. This is a very useful strategy. You categorize the topics in ABC category. A means which you are very, very comfortable with. You have done sufficient practice. You are able to score good marks in those topics. B category means the topics which you are confident about, but you haven't done enough practice. Okay, so you have practice use practice or revise karne ki hai. Those would be B category topics. C category topics matlab topics which you are not comfortable with. You are not able to score good in those, uh, uh, you know, uh, score good in those topics. So, abhi bhi time hai. Usko abhi bhi hum strong kar sakte. If you want something above 99 percentile, you should be comfortable with almost all the topics. You cannot leave topics for option. Okay, 90 percent syllabus at least tumara comfortable hona chahiye. So, once you finish your backlog, Till 20th of November, maybe 25th of November, you just work on these C category topics. Okay, this is the NTA questions. 
बुक्स रेफर कर सकते हो थ्योरी रिवाइज कर सकते हो खुद से कुछ चैप्टर वाइज टेस्ट इनके बना के दे सकते हो तो ये सब तुम्हें अराउंड ट्वेंटी ऑफ नवंबर तक करना है आफ्टर दैट यू स्टार्ट रिवाइजिंग ए एंड बी कैटेगरी टॉपिक्स टॉपिक्स विच आर रिलेटिवली कंफर्टेबल राइट उसके लिए तुम ले सकते हो अनदर ट्वेंटी टू ट्वेंटी फाइव डेज ओके बिकॉज इट्स यूथ सिलेबस इवन इफ यू स्टार्ट रिवाइजिंग वन टॉपिक पर सब्जेक्ट इन अ डे इट विल टेक यू एटलीस्ट ट्वेंटी फाइव डेज सो फिफ्टीन ऑफ डिसम्बर तक तुम अपना पूरा रिविजन जो है वो खत्म कर of A, B, C, all category topics. After fifteenth of December, you start giving mock test. Before finishing your syllabus, I don't think you should start giving full syllabus mock test. Once you are done with your syllabus, start giving mock test every alternate day from fifteenth of December to tenth of January. So in this duration, you will be giving roughly around twelve to thirteen J main mock test. Along with obviously, you will be starting your boards preparation also. Okay, so that's why I'm saying every alternate day you should give one JE main mock test. This can be your uh, coaching institute paper or uh, any correspondence course if you have joined or any uh, previous year uh, paper of uh, JE main. Okay, so these kind of papers you can give, but it should be of JE main level. After tenth of January, this frequency of giving papers should be daily. Every day you have to give one JE main previous year question paper. जिसको हम बोलते हैं पीवाई के प्रीवियस ईयर क्वेश्चन ठीक है तो हर दिन तुमको एक तीन घंटे का पेपर देना है और उसको प्रॉपरली एनालाइज कर सो फ्रॉम फिफ्टीन ऑफ डिसम्बर टू ऑलमोस्ट लेट से ट्वेंटी ऑफ जनवरी यू शुड बी गिविंग एटलीस्ट ट्वेंटी टू ट्वेंटी फाइव जेई मेन पेपर दे कैन बी आइदर मॉक टेस्ट और आइदर प्रीवियस जेई मेन क्वेश्चन पेपर ओके बट मेक श्योर दैट यू आर अटेम्प्टिंग एटलीस्ट ट्वेंटी टू ट्वेंटी फाइव क्वेश्चन पेपर बिफोर अटेम्प्टिंग एक्चुअल जेई मेन so that you are accustomed to the speed required uh, for these kind of for this kind of exam okay to so, tumko speed ka andaza lagega difficulty level kya hota hai silly mistakes kaise avoid karni hai exam strategy kya hona chahiye so wo sab cheeze tumko tabhi samajh mein aayengi jab tum ye pyqs doge okay now for the students who are yet to finish the syllabus obviously you have to clear backlog along with the ongoing topics because you don't have too much of time तो अभी से ही थोड़ा वीकली कुछ टेन परसेंट ट्वेंटी परसेंट टाइम बैकलॉग के लिए रखो और एट्टी परसेंट टाइम करंट टॉपिक्स के लिए रखो सो लेट्स से यू सिलेबस गेट्स ओवर बाय फिफ्टींथ और ट्वेंटी ऑफ नवंबर एब्सोल्युटली नॉट एन इश्यू यू हैव सफिशिएंट टाइम फॉर रिवीजन डोंट वरी अबाउट इट जैसा कि उन लोगों को बाकी स्टूडेंट्स को मैंने सजेस्ट किया यू ऑल्सो कैटेगराइज द टॉपिक्स इन ए कैटेगरी एंड स्टार्ट वर्किंग ऑन योर वीक एरियाज From 20th of November to 10th of December, at least five topics per subject you can do easily, and that can be your C category topics. So by 10th of December you finish the revision of those C category topics, then you start revising the other topics left. A quick revision is good enough. Theory पढ़ो, थोड़े से questions करो, एक chapter wise test दे दो. So उसके लिए तुम रख सकते हो 15 to 20 days from 10th of December to 25th of December. but after 25th of december you also are supposed to give one test every alternate day till 10th of january and in the remaining days in those remaining days from 25th december to 10th of january you keep on revising your theory part after 10th of january every day you have to give one pyq that is previous year je main question and till the exam date paper do usko acche se analyze karo and uh, that can be your uh, strategy for the next 100 days okay now how to give those mock tests how to give those pyq right so see right now when when you start giving full syllabus papers you will face lot of challenges paper time pe khatam nahi ho raha hai ya kisi ek particular subject ko sufficient time nahi mil raha hai hum bahut zyada mistakes kar rahe hain okay ya ek hi question mein bahut zyada time lag jata hai तो इस तरह के प्रॉब्लम्स इनिशियली आएंगे व्हाट टू बैलेंस हाउ टू बैलेंस थ्री सब्जेक्ट्स इन थ्री आवर्स ओके सो दैट्स व्हाई डिसम्बर मे बी बाय टेंथ ऑफ जनवरी इट्स द टाइम ऑफ इट्स द टाइम टू एक्सपेरिमेंट यू गिव द पेपर इन सीपीएम पैटर्न यू गिव द पेपर इन पीसीएम पैटर्न एम पैटर्न तुम देखो कि तुम्हें क्या कंफर्टेबल है आइडियली यू शुड स्टार्ट विद द सब्जेक्ट विच इज योर द मोस्ट यू नो कॉन्फिडेंट सब्जेक्ट तो उससे स्टार्ट करना चाहिए uh, दो तरह की स्ट्रेटेजी लोग यूज करते हैं पेपर देते वक्त जेई मेन में फर्स्ट काइंड ऑफ स्ट्रेटेजी इज के दे फर्स्ट सॉल्व ऑल पॉसिबल इजी क्वेश्चंस सिंगल आंसर न्यूमेरिकल ऑफ ऑल थ्री सब्जेक्ट्स दे ट्राई टू फिनिश 
each and every subject in roughly 35 to 40 minutes like uh, chemistry jo bhi questions aa rahe hain around 35 40 minutes mein kar do physics kar do 40 45 minutes mein maths kar do in two two and a half hours you solve the entire paper which you can solve easily and in the last 30 minutes you just try to attempt some of the questions which you have left all questions won't be possible tumne agar question chode hain last ke half an hour ke liye iska matlab hi hai ki wo difficult questions hai wo tumhe nahi aaye right so last ke half an hour mein is question se us question us question se is question pe jump karne ki zarurat nahi if you have left with 15 20 questions for last half an hour you select five and try to get all those five or six questions correct theek hai this is one kind of strategy another kind of strategy which students follow is ki they finish single answer that is 20 20 20 questions per subject uh, of all three subjects physics chemistry maths and then uh, the numerical section then they in the last one hour they attempt the numerical section so two hours they keep for single answer section and one hour for the numerical section so this is also one of the strategies you can uh, just keep on trying these two strategies in december and whichever works most for you that you should follow in entire january while giving pyqs just follow the same strategy okay paper analysis is very very important Paper analysis means that if that paper gives me two days later, then my paper should be 300 out of 300 score. Every doubt of that paper should be clear. Every solution should come to understand. What is wrong? It should come to understand. How to avoid it? How to do it next time? So, uh, paper analysis is not just to calculate how much marks you got in that paper. That is not the meaning of analysis, right? Paper analysis means... Uh, to avoid those mistakes. Ya us type ka question agar next paper mein aata hai, to mujhse wo solve hona chahiye. So that is the true meaning of paper analysis. So do do that. Okay guys, so this was uh, like, this should be your course uh, plan or strategy for the next 100 days. Wish you best of luck and do well in uh, JEMA 2025. Thank you.